हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कोर आर्टिजन लैब दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 41 फॉर जेंगो ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल इंप्लीमेंट द टू थिंग्स द फर्स्ट थिंग इज वी विल इंप्लीमेंट द चेंज पासवर्ड फंक्शनैलिटी ओके सो दिस फंक्शनैलिटी विल वर्क इन द यूजर डैशबोर्ड हेयर वी विल क्रिएट द लिंक फॉर चेंज पासवर्ड एंड यूजर कैन चेंज इज पासवर्ड ओके एंड देन वी विल इंप्लीमेंट द फॉरगेट पासवर्ड और यू कैन से रीसेट पासवर्ड ओके सो दिस विल गो दिस फंक्शनैलिटी विल गो इन द इन द यूजर लॉग इन पेज हेयर वी विल एड अ लिंक एंड वेन यूजर यूजर विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट लिंक यूजर कैन रीसेट हिज पासवर्ड इफ ही फॉर गेट द पासवर्ड ओके सो वी विल इंप्लीमेंट दिस टू फंक्शनैलिटी इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द चेंज पासवर्ड ओके सो हेयर आई वॉन्ट टू क्लियर दैट जेंगो कम्स विद द ऑथेंटिकेशन ऐप so what we need to do we need to do two things the first thing is we will imp we will create here a template okay so here i have a we need two templates i will delete this we need a uh, we need to create two templates so i will copy the template from the user because i also need the sidebar so i will copy the update address copy and i will put it in the registration folder because authentication app uh, finds the template from the registration okay registration folder so here i will add password change form so this is default name okay so you have to name uh, you have to keep the same name okay so i will open this and here i will change change password okay and i'll remove this link because we don't need this link and we have a sidebar and we have all the things we don't need the message also okay because django doing the things uh, itself all the things so we just need the password change form okay so after changing the password we also need one more template then uh, in that template the uh, after changing the password it will redirect to the template so it will show the message that password is changed or not so password change done okay and in this what i will do i will just put the message so what we will the where we will put we will put in the main template and here i will add password has been password has been changed okay so we have done this we have implemented the first functionality so here the username and the password is something okay so i have logged in now i'll go to the dashboard and we need to define the link in the sidebar also so i will open the uh, user folder and i'll open the user sidebar and we have already a link so i have i will define here password change okay this is the name of the url and here we need to define the path so path will be accounts slash and slash then we will refresh the page so we have we need to change the title here so this will be password password change okay so refresh the page and we have password change now so when we click on this it will go to the admin section okay so we need to remember that our template will override the admin section only in one condition if our app is before the admin app okay so just to remember this thing we need to go to the project level settings and we need to put our app before the admin app okay so i will put this i will move this app and place this at the top before the chat and the admin because chat is also a part of admin i will refresh the page and it is loading yeah now you can see that we have uh, we are in the password change our custom template and here it is activated okay now let's change the password so it will be current password and then 
new password save so it is saying that it is saying the error something the password is too similar or whatever it is saying so i will change something different save the password is too similar to the username okay no issues i will change again let's say um, Just a minute. Save. Oh my God. Okay, now it's fine. Now we have redirected on the password changed. Okay, so we have implemented our first task. Now let's go for the second task. We will now we will implement the password reset functionality. Okay, so for implementing the reset password, we need to define a link in the login form. So I'll go to the login form so i'll go to the registration login okay and here i will define a link forget password so i will define here oh it will be forget or we can say simple in the simple language we can say reset password okay and we will add the question mark here and here i will add the link equal to href and in the link we have already a url okay and in the url we have password reset okay now let's go to the refresh the page and we have a reset password and let's make it red so text change refresh the page okay so when we click on this we need to create templates uh, uh, what templates for changing the password we have created two things we have created the change password form and uh, message form message template change done in this uh, forget password first of all we need to set the email set the email settings in the project level setting file because when we reset the password it will django authentication system will send the activation link to the user defined email and when the user click on the email then it will return to the change form and then he can change the password and uh, he can successfully uh, he, he will show the uh, success message okay so this is the flow for resetting the password so first of all we need to define the uh, email setting in the settings level file so i will go to the settings.py file and django provides us uh, email setting for when we are developing the application okay and uh, this will be different for uh, when we when our application in uh, production mode okay we will do that thing also so for this debugging or developing mode we have defined the email backend constant and from the django core we are defining the email as a console okay so we have defined the first thing now we need to create this four template reset form reset done this is reset form in which we will uh, put the email reset done it will it will tell that we have sent the activation link to the email and then you when user click on the link then he will he will see the reset for uh, reset form he can change the password and in this in this reset complete he will see the success message okay so let's create this template first so i'll copy this name and i'll go to the here and create this template uh, 
this is already exist so i will open this password reset confirm password reset form so we have two things password reset form we have password reset form okay and so i will say reset your password reset your password okay and we have a we don't need a sidebar actually we just need the form because so i will what i will do i will actually we need to copy the sign up form not the other things so i need to copy this here okay and here i will say reset password okay so we have this uh, now we have done so i will go to the reset password and we have a form now i will add the add the form here so i have uh, what i have albert at the red gmail.com because in the username in the email id i have put this now i'll go to the so i'll refresh the server refresh the server there is no particular con uh, there is no particular thing that why i'm reset uh, re uh, refreshing this server i'm just uh, refreshing this so when we register this so we have emailed your instruction because we have not created the uh, message page so that it is redirecting on the you know, on to the admin and here you can see here see this carefully we have a link okay so we have a link when we open this link then it will try to open this form confirm form currently it will open the admin form first we will create this password reset done so i will copy this and paste it here html and i will set the message we have a sign up form i will copy this and i will paste it here and just remove the things from here and we will say we have emailed the we have emailed the instructions okay so please check your email whatever message you want to say here you can see now uh, when we so if we reset and refresh this page we have emailed the instruction you can see now when we copy this it will op it should open the this page confirm so i think i have created this confirm form i will delete this i will delete this okay and i will copy this reset form and i will paste it and just i will put this password oh, capital password confirm to, uh, confirm password reset password reset confirm dot html okay and in this i will change the title change sorry change password and one thing more i will add here i will show this table if if valid link because in this page when we open this open this uh, url then we have a valid link django will when we, django redirect to the confirm uh, reset confirm form then we have a valid link variable and we will check that if link is valid then we will show the form else we will show the message a uh, link has been expired please reset again okay and we will end if fine so i will copy this where it is i will copy this and i will paste it here okay so it is saying that change password so before cha changing the password we will also let's create the this complete form reset complete form 
so that after changing the password it will redirect to this form redirect to this template sorry i am saying form but it should be template so i will copy this i will paste it here and just i will say password has been password has been changed please login here okay and in the here text i will say sure for which url i will add the i will add the login url okay so that user can easily log in so we have completed the flow now let's check the flow so i will add the password let's add the password something is and then something is register why we am change why we are adding the button on the name of register okay so password has been changed and we have redirected on the done page and when we click on this we are on the login page now we can login with the new password okay so password whatever we have set in so we have logged in and now we have completed our change password and reset password flow so if you have any confusion any query then please add in the comment section okay so here you can go through the things in the change password we have uh, we need to do two things form and change done template and in the forget password or reset password we need to do five things uh, first of all we need to define the email settings in our uh, settings.py file and then we need to create these four templates okay i hope you understand all the things if you have any query any doubt then please add in the comment section and please like share subscribe this channel and uh, as much as share you can and uh, thanks for watching this video thank you so much and uh, i will upload uh, uh, i will upload uh, one more video in which we will uh, we will set the email for the production uh, for the production level okay so we can uh, actual real time we will send the email and all the things okay so maybe the next video or after one video i will do that so thank you so much thank you